Redistricting happens every 10 years once new census data is released to make sure that everybody stays equally represented. But some of these new proposals would leave people here in Palm Desert with a different congressperson than someone, say, just one exit down the highway in La Quinta. The Coachella Valley could soon be split. New draft district maps are being drawn up right now ahead of being finalized late next month, showing a new line right down the middle of the Valley's congressional district. The Valley is currently represented in its entirety by Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz. But these new draft maps put Palm Desert, Palm Springs, and Rancho Mirage in with Menifee, Norco, and Corona, leaving the rest of the Valley in a different district with Imperial County and some of Eastern San Bernardino County. Several of us have said that's not uh, a good final solution. Ray Kennedy is one of 14 state commissioners working to redraw the district lines. He's a former Palm Springs resident now living in Morongo Valley and the only representative from the Inland Empire. Kennedy says he has concerns about dividing the Valley's districts. We have had a few people calling in and, and saying that, you know, they're not happy with the Coachella Valley being split. I've said that I'm not happy with the Coachella Valley being split the way it is. Um, I think it's, you know, it's very artificial. The Coachella Valley's state Senate representation could be upended too. The Valley as a whole is in Senate District 28 right now. But new drafts could move Coachella and Indio into a district with Imperial County and some of San Diego County, leaving the rest of the valley, including Palm Springs, Desert Hot Springs, and La Quinta, in a district with Southern San Bernardino County. The Greater Coachella Valley Chamber of Commerce says there are more potential negative outcomes with the redistricting proposal than positive, urging the commission to keep the Coachella Valley whole. But Kennedy says with the December 27th deadline fast approaching, time is running out. If people want to comment, we encourage them to do so as soon as possible so that that can be uh, uh, given full consideration. Now, separately, Riverside County is currently looking at redrawing district lines for our county supervisor representation as well. District 4, which encompasses the Coachella Valley, currently has the lowest population, meaning in order to balance it out, our district would likely grow in size.